I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game. So it's a perfect time to go round again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. So I probably got another 50 hours of grinding uh, on this account before I kind of fully wrap up the season. But yeah, the what am I aiming for? Oh man, dude, you everything is on sale right now. This is crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of really good stuff here. So the things that I want to pick up, uh, I want to get the mislock pass because that's just a bit of a no-brainer. I want to make an End of Dragons Legendary. Uh, just for fun, because why not? I basically got all the gold for that already, so we might as well get that done. Uh, I wanted to pick up maybe maybe some uh, storage expanders, right? So I, I might go for a, you know, a few of these things, right? Maybe two of those. What's the account be like? I need to buy these gems. I've just got to get these gems going, guys. 143. Honestly, that's not a bad deal. Worse I think I'm going to do it. Gamers, here it is. I'm actually just going to bite the bullet. There we go. One, four, three. That's honestly not a bad deal. Uh, and here it is. Oh, this is going to be so good. Mistlock Sanctuary Pass Key. Yes. At last. The best in slot VIP pass. We can... The, the Queen's Terrace is going into retirement. We've got the pass key. Very good. Very, very, very good. What else do I want to buy? Because I think I wanted to... Getting one bank tab would be pretty good, I think. That would be pretty... Uh, that would be pretty juicy. Okay, it would be. It would be. I'll tell you what we are doing. I am going to finish my... I'm going to have all of the materials for my Gen 3 Legendary. So first order of business uh, is actually going to be spending some currencies to finish off all the crafting materials. So basically, I just converted some of my laurels into Tier 3 and Tier 4 materials. And now I can go ahead make all of these gifts for our generation three legendary weapon i haven't even decided which one i want yet i have no good way of deciding either i have to get the chat to vote the chat will help me okay then we have this the gift of condensed uh, magic we have this thing as well and i also am going to need some amalgamated draconic lodestones these are actually really expensive I need two of them. I have three that I got from drops and so on. Uh, they're very expensive, though. They're 15 gold each. However, we're going to actually do it the clever way. Uh, and what you can do to get these is... I actually don't know which lodestones it is. So I'm just going to get all of them. Uh, but you can put lodestones in the Mystic Forge, and you can craft them for cheap. And if you do a lot of open world, you'll have as loads of these things. And fractals, too. Especially Dragon's End. Dragon's End is very good for this. Is it Destroyer Lodestone? Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I think it's the... Yeah, here we go. Destroyer, Crystal Lodestone, Corrupted, and Pile of Putrid Essence. Look, they finally paid off, right? Because this is uh, basically... This is saying Primordus, Krakatoric, Jawmag, and Zaitan is basically what's going on there. Ten of each, and there you go. You actually get yourself an Amalgamated Draconic Lodestone. And that means we can get those two on the cheap, just using, by, using stuff that we actually found in the open world. In this case, a lot of Dragon's End and a lot of Fractals has given us that. So now we have five of those things. Okay, but here we go. So we have our Mystic Clovers in here. And we put one of each gift and then five Amalgamated Draconic Lodestones. And here you go. We now have our Draconic Tribute, which is kind of like the, the big money component for our Generation 3 Legendary Weapon. So what do we have to make next? We have to make the Gift of Jade Mastery. Gift of Jade Mastery, we need the Gift of the Dragon Empire. So 100 Jade Runestones, 200 Chunks of Pure Dead, 100 Ambergris, and 5 Blessings of the Jade Empire. Okay, there we are. There is our Gift of the Jade Empire. This is actually very strange, because I have never crafted a Generation 3 Legendary before, guys. Do you know that? On my main, I bought it from the trading post. I didn't craft it. Uh, how about that? So this is actually the first time I'm ever creating these items. This is a special moment, chat. This is a special, special moment. Okay, so let's get this Gift of the Mists going. So we need a Bloodstone Shard, I believe. 
Yeah, we're going to need ourselves a Bloodstone Shard. 200 Spirit Shards. Bit pain there. Uh, and we're also going to need Gift of War and Gift of Glory. And then also Gift of Battle. Oh, I should have got that at the bank. It's in the bank, isn't it? Here we go. Yeah, rip that short bow. There's our Gift of Battle from World vs. World. And now Gift of the Mists will materialize. Our Gift of War... Gift of Glory, Gift of Battle, and Cube of Stabilized Dark Energy. Very, very good. Uh, and actually, I guess we can now make the Gift of Jade Mastery as well, can't we? Here we go. Let's put all of this together. Oh, there you go. That's a, that's a, look at that one. That's a big one. Gift of the Jade Empire, Bloodstone Shard, 100 Antique Summoning Sons, and Gift of Count. These are way cheaper now, though. How crazy is that? But there it is. Gift of Jade Mastery. So that's now sorted. We've got that done. We have our precursor for free. Bear that in mind because we just get it uh, directly from the free precursor that we're going to be uh, getting from completing the Season of the Dragons achievements. So now we need our 100 Mystic Rune Stones. I believe we can just buy this from this vendor, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, here we go. 100 of these. 100 gold, no way around that. A bit painful, but it is what it is. Uh, and now our course is going to divert a bit. So we need Gift of Research. And now we're going to need a lot of research notes, but fortunately, I think I can do pretty well there. Yeah, we need basically another 1,200, well, 1,300 research notes, more or less. Uh, and I think we are going to do, yeah, this is going to be the tactic. We're going to make Dire Draconic Helms. I actually don't know if this one is optimal currently. I have no clue. Uh, however, I do know that basically this is the way to go. Uh, if you go ahead and salvage exotic um, gear that uses basically crappy stats, like Dyer, for example, this means you can very quickly and very efficiently pick up some of these. The recipe, whichever one is optimal, is going to change. You can take a look at Fast Farming. They'll tell you. Uh, I have no idea, but I'm going to go with this one because, why well, the hell not? I'm actually just going to buy the ingredients too because I am uh, very, very lazy. But there we go. We now have our... 500 hydrocatalytic reagents for our gift of research. Just so everyone knows, I'm not picking like the highest value legendary or anything like that. I'm not doing that. I I'm just picking one that I think is interesting or maybe I kind of like it. I'm not picking like, I'm not picking, you know, the highest value that's going to be used on every single build. I just want to, just want to go for a, a legendary, you know, that's what I want to do. We want a legendary. Right? There's the gift of research. There we go. So we've basically we've got our Mystic Runes, it's Gift of Research, Gift of the Mists, and now we need to go pick our Precursor, because we've got our Gift of Jade Mastery. Yeah, now we need the Precursor. So it's Precursor time. Yeah, guys, you can you can vote on Yeah, you can vote on the poll, guys. Vote on the poll. I will abide by the result of the poll. Whatever legendary uh, you guys vote for, I will make. Right, you can vote for the hammer, the axe, the torch, the GS, and the staff. Pick it all, vote now. Uh, you guys have got a couple of minutes. Whatever you guys pick, I will craft. Oh, it's close. It's really close, actually. Hammer with 94. GS with 96. Hey, playing. Thanks for the raid, man. Really appreciate that. But anyway, keep voting, guys. Keep going. Staff, not very popular. Not very popular, though. Oh, GS just barely pulling ahead with 98, 97 from Hammer. Come on, guys. Go, 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 go. Vote, vote, vote. Hammer with 98. It's neck and neck. It is neck and neck, guys. There's only about 30 seconds left in the poll. GS with 99. It's crawling ahead right now. Up to 99 again. 100 of votes for Greatsword. Hammer, one vote behind, another vote for Great Sword, 101. 100 for Hammer. 102 for Hammer. Oh, hang on. Hammer with 103 now. 105 for Hammer. GS equalizing. 106. 107 for Hammer. They're leapfrogging. Oh, a big surge. Hammer users actually getting a big surge at the end. It's really going to come down to the wire. Wow, it's so close. I actually don't think I can call it because it could. it's so volatile right now. 115, it's exactly even. 116 for GS. 117, 116. It's even. 119 for GS. Oh, 121. Oh, <laughs> the Greatsword fans. At the last second, the Greatsword fans did it. With a last-minute surge of votes, they made it to 121. G 
Just barely. They got it. Hammer time is over. GS Needless dies of cr <laughs> dies of cringe. <laughs> What is this? Ha 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 ha. Easy. Wow. Great sword is useless. Lamau, enjoy your shit legendary. <laughs> well, guys, I've got to abide by the results of the poll. The hammer voters, they should have voted harder. You guys should have rigged the election, but you failed. And now you've been punished for it. And here we go. So just as the bit of the bit of the kind of the recap here. Um, we are actually- I, oh, I'll actually grab this while I'm here. Here we go. But because we completed Season of the Dragons, that's the achievement- basically the return to achievements for going back and doing loads of stuff in the old maps, Living Story Season 2, 3, uh, and 4, and Ice Brood Saga, and so on. We actually can pick a completely free precursor. You can see here, uh, Prismatic Precursor Selection Box. That's part of- I'll just show the achievement just as a quick recap for everyone. Season of the Dragons. So yeah, we get a completely free precursor for getting to tier 2. Uh, so basically 10 of these achievements in Season of the Dragon. So that's a free precursor. And, oh, they're not going to like this, are they? They aren't going to like it, but I'm sorry, Hammer mains, uh, Hammer fans. It is going to be the Great Sword this time around. What is it? Is it a Dragon's Bite? Yeah, it is going to be Dragon's Bite will be chosen this time. There it is. We have our greatsword precursor now. So now we do have to craft the gift. Uh, let's actually, we have to craft the... It's Aureen's Bite, isn't it? Uh, is that a... Yeah, I think it's a craft... Oh, it's a Mystic Forge, actually. We need 10 Tales of Adventure, 6 Lamplighter's Badge, 1 Deldramore Steel uh, Greatsword Blade, and 1 Sheet of Premium Paper. Beautiful. We're at negative 943 gold. But what you'll notice, and this is important, notice that even though I've um, basically converted some of my gold and resources into stuff, notice that my account value has stayed about the same. Because basically I've converted liquidity into account value. That's what this process, that's what the entire process um, is when it comes to legendaries. So now we have to basically Mystic Forge all of this stuff. I need a sheet of premium paper as well, because it's a poem. We've got to write a poem. And no mediocre paper is going to do it. It has to be premium. Big. And there is our... There it is. I hate to say it, guys. The poem on great swords. I mean, just imagine what that poem even is. I wish you could read it. But it's absolutely beautiful, guys. We have our poem on great swords fully assembled. And I think that is actually going to just about do it when we log back on over to our firebrand. Right. Mystic Runestone, and here it is, beautiful, that is going to be the Gift of Aureen's Bite, and here we go. Now, we have our Legendary, we're about to craft this Legendary, this is a big moment, Legendary Great Sword Generation 3, Aureen's Bite is here, very sparkly, very fantastical, very beautiful, however, before we do this, I actually want to point out something unbelievably important about legendary crafting. Especially... Oh, that's a nice tooltip, isn't it? Wait, what? That is not supposed to be like that way. Especially when it comes to the Generation 3 legendaries. Notice this. Look at the difference between the trading post price and the crafting price. Okay? It's actually 731 gold different. So what this means is, is that we can actually sell this legendary and basically make a serious amount of gold or trade it to another player and make a serious amount of gold. So not only we're going to increase our account value a lot by picking this legendary up, it turns out that crafting legendaries, especially Generation 3, is extremely good if you want to make a bit of cash. You can basically monetize your open world gameplay um, uh, map completion, essentially, and then convert that into gold. And I think it's kind of worth noting what's actually going on here. So what are you selling? How How is it that you can make money from crafting something uh, when you'd think, well, you just add up the price, right? And that's what it costs. How is that possible? Well, it's because what you're doing is you're basically selling your time and you're also selling some account-bound resources. So notably, you're going to be selling 
uh, spirit shards. Mystic clovers are made of spirit shards. And we also have a lot of spirit shards here with the bloodstone shard. This is an account bound currency that can't be traded. And you also have gift of canther. This is your end of dragons map completion. Again, that you're basically kind of, you're monetizing your map completion efforts essentially. And then we also have more spirit shards and a variety of other things going on here in with the transcendent crystal. Right, with that too. Uh, Ascended materials also are technically time-gated, so there's kind of an element of monetization there as well. You, of course, have your gift of battle. You're basically selling, playing world versus world, right? That's being thrown into this as well. Uh, you're a piece of your own Ascended gear from the Ball of Dark Energy. And research notes and luck, too. And, of course, when we get up here, technically speaking, you can even monetize, like, doing the story and stuff like that. Uh, and also we have, uh, down here, we have Imperial Favor. Right, you're also selling Imperial Favor, another account-bound currency. So essentially, 700 gold is how much it costs to buy all the Spirit Shards, all the account-bound currencies, all that kind of stuff. And this is a really, really important thing for kind of understanding how you can potentially make some money while crafting. Where there's Spirit Shards, there's money. Where there's Imperial Favor, there's money. Well, that's how I made a bunch of gold selling precursors, was selling Imperial Favor, selling Spirit Shards to other players, essentially. And you'd be surprised how much money you can make. And End of Dragon's map completion is really not going to take you that long at all. Realistically, I, I think I did it in about two hours, and I really, I was not rushing whatsoever. It was a little bit more than that on this character. I had a, I had some of it done. Oh, uh, no, it, it was actually really quick. It was way faster than that, actually. It was like an hour, but I had a lot of the maps done. I think a fresh EOD map comp it could do two to three hours, I would say. Uh, and that's basically the major time gate. As long as you have a lot of the other currencies from doing meta events, stuff like that, you could even buy the materials at buy orders, right? So you could place buy orders for some of these materials or just farm them yourself, make a legendary and sell it and get rich. But there you go. That's what I wanted to point out before we actually go and create this glorious legendary weapon because I want all of you to get wealthy in Guild Wars 2. I want all of you to get rich. But you know what? We're about to get rich on account value because even though I'm negative 940 gold right now, we're about to get a whole bunch of value. Here we go, gamers. Here's the forge. And there it is. Aureen's Bite, the legendary greatsword voted on by the chat, by the way. The chat wanted, they wanted the greatsword, all right? They wanted the greatsword. And bear in mind, uh, this here on efficiency, the 730 gold, that is basically if you insta-sell, right? Uh, or rather, if you insta-buy. If we were able to actually sell this to another player, let's say for 2,200 gold, even with tax, we'd still be making about 800 to 900 gold profit, even if we sell at a bit of a discount from making one of these legendaries. So don't kind of write this off as a gold-making method. It's obviously quite high effort and high time investment. You need to have the spirit shards. You need to do the map completion, right? It's quite an involved crafting process. It's, it's elaborate, right? But that's why it's profitable, right? It's because it is quite high effort. But seriously, if you are looking for something a little bit different to spice up the gold, really do some high effort gold stuff there, you like open world, you like farming, it's very big. Because also, the thing is about this is you could actually be earning gold while not even playing into the game. Because what you can do uh, is you can place buy orders for all of the materials. You need to craft the materials. And then your only time investment is basically making sure you have enough spirit shards, imperial favor, and doing the map completion, right? Which, in theory, could be an insanely low amount of time investment. So the actual gold per hour or kind of the amount of gold per hour spent on making a legendary is going to be very high. Because a lot of the, the work can be done basically by your buy orders, right? You can do a lot of the work, essentially, by farming gold in efficient ways, like doing fractals, buying stuff, and then using the legendary as a force multiplier to generate even more revenue. You will have to wait for the legendary to sell, but Gen 3s actually sell pretty fast. Um... Like, I think they usually take, like, a couple of days to sell. Um, especially if you, you know, go for a pretty solid price. They're pretty fast, right? Like, it'll be, like, a couple of days, maybe a week, but not long to actually sell these legendaries. So, there it is. High value, my friends. High value. And another big thing here. I'm going to say this before I go. Mystic Clovers. Don't gamble for them, especially if you're looking to make profit. You might get screwed and it's expensive. Plan ahead. Final tip here. Always remember that you can actually buy, okay, um, you can buy 30 Mystic Clovers guaranteed no RNG at discounted prices at this point. Five from Strike Missions. So 
strike currency, and then basically two thirds of the price. You know, normally it's going to cost you on average three MCs, three Ectos. You can also get 10 from Raids, 10 from Fractals, and 5 from World vs. World. And of course, you get a whole bunch uh, for doing uh, the monthly as well. Like, just for logging in, you get 7 a month. And also from doing, like, PvP and World vs. World reward tracks, which you're going to need anyway, right, for the Gift of Battle. So, always remember, you can get very cheap Clovers. Plan ahead. Don't gamble and get your value out of all of that kind of good stuff. Because all of those activities are pretty good for farming gold anyway. So, you might as well plan ahead, especially if you're looking to make some extra revenue. But there it is. Enjoy. That is how it is. Enjoy the gaming. I have the legendary. I'm adding it to the armory. We're not selling it this time. Boom. Oh, well, I, yeah. I kind of messed that up, but there it is. His voice whispers at the back of my mind. His soul as ripe as it was in life. He tells me things about the mist, about the underworld, terrifying dark things. Whoa. That is indeed pretty spooky. But there you go. Legendary Great Sword has been unlocked on the Zero to Hero. We absolutely love to see that. Let's go ahead and equip it and just like spin it around, I guess. Maybe we want to play Willbender. Maybe I want to play Reaper. Maybe I want to play Vindicator. I think I'll probably go for a lot of the um, variants as well. I might do like the full journey and get every variant for this one. That's going to be a little bit pricey, but it's actually not that bad, to be honest. It's a bit of a grind, but it is what it is. I like the Su Wan great, so that one looks really cool, actually. The Su, I'm a big fan of the Su Wan variants. You know? But there it is. That's another legendary, and wow. We're really getting to the end of the Zero to Hero, guys. We made, oh god. I made five legendaries this season. Oh my god. We made every single legendary trinket, and now we've made a Gen 3 as well, just for fun. I also have farmed a disgusting amount of gold to buy quality of life. Um, ooh, I need to buy a bank tab. I wanted to get at least one bank tab, I think. I don't, I don't feel super pressured to get more than one, though. I feel like just one more is going to be good for now. I have a storage character anyway, but I do want to pick up some of these bank tabs. So I'll, I think I'll get one. I think we'll get one bank tab, just because it's on sale. Because uh, realistically, I am going to be moving towards to getting a lot more other characters. Now, that's actually a decent price I'm just going to buy. Um... That's a not a bad price. Honestly, the prices are ridiculous right now. But I'm just going to pick up one. Oh, should I do two? Ooh, I, 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 might, I might grab another one. You know what, guys? Let's do it. You know, let, let's get a little crazy. Let's get a little, uh, let's get a little wild. I'll do the bank tab just for fun. We're just going to do it, you know, as a wacky idea. Just to make sure I never run out of bank space. You know, we can we can go a little wild here, I think. We can go a little crazy. We can get a little crazy. Uh, yeah, character slots will be on sale. And I think that's where I'm just going to buy a massive, like, disgusting amount of character I'm slots. Sure yeah, this. for now, you know what? Let's get two... Let's get two gear. Gear ones. Here we go. Because they are on sale. 20% off. Equipment template. One and two. Nice. We're getting good value out of that sale. Beautiful. I'm going to put that in the bank for now, but we will get some value out of that later. Oh, all my gold is gone, but I still have a lot of stuff to sell. My time is precious. Oh, whoa! Look at that account value! Look at that account value, guys! 28,000 account value. That is insane. Look at that. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, we made some serious money here, huh? 28,000 account sure value. And that is what happens when you make a legendary. Making a legendary like that, legendary like that is huge. And yeah, we're almost in the top third as well. Oh, yes. I'll tell you what. I think what? as we giveth, we taketh away, guys. Um, it is actually time now. Maybe with a little bit of a solemn ceremony here. I have decided, I, I've had this thing on my account for a while. It is, however, inflating my account value, the uh, pristine eye infusion. And as a result of that, I am in fact going to remove it from the zero to hero and go ahead and put it in the gill bank. Uh, it will be used for hard stuck tournaments and competitive play and for funding guild operations. And 
There it is. The spoils of the Zero to Hero. B b the rarest drop I have ever had in game by far, by the way. Not even close. And that is in 23,000 hours, by the way, right? Um, since the launch thing, I have never had anything this rare. And here it is into the guild bank, and it will be used for competitive events, uh, to fund guild operations, all that kind of good stuff. But there it is. That will take our account value down by about 1.8k, but that, of course, is in accordance with the rules. We did say at the start, there are no high rolls, and we will not be using this as it is a mega, mega high roll. So there it is. We're going back to about 26.2k, uh, but still very commendable.